Welcome back. So last time I was working on the steam pipe, I ran into an issue with the clean out. It's the exact same diameter as the bell on the pipe. So this here has a taper on it, as you guys can probably see. Uh, th that taper is meant to go inside the pipe, but apparently this one doesn't work that way. And so I was told that to cut past the bell and that should actually slide over top of this pipe. The diameter on the inside should be the same as that. So I'm gonna do that today. Hopefully not wreck the pipe and uh, I'll just get a shorter length, which is not a big issue. So on with the work. All right, so as it turns out, that's exactly what it needed. So I'm happy about that. Now what I'm gonna do is, this was a 10 foot length. Now I took out about six inches, so it's nine six now. The lumber I'm using is no longer than nine three, so it's perfect size for me right now. But I will be needing this to be 16 foot when I'm doing the gunnels on the canoe. Um, so what I'm planning to do for that is going to be I'll get another pipe like this. Uh, can be 10 foot, could be another 8 foot. Um, and then I'll get a same clean out as that for the other end and a male clean out uh, the opposite of this and then it'll be able to screw into this one and then from that it'll be a longer pipe and that's how I'm planning on doing it. Now what I'll do, I'm gonna try and try to steam on there and I'll see how that works. All right, so we have steam. I got the thing connected. Took about five minutes to boil up. And so when I fill that thing, it's good for two hours, it says. So at fill line, it will create steam for two hours. So I have it going inside the, the pipe here, and she's going. Oh, it's pretty hot. That's pretty good. So I wanna see if I cover it up. If I open this, steam should come out of here. So the other thing I'm gonna need to do is I'll have to drill a hole at the back side to release the condensed water. So once the, uh, the heat gets in there, it's gonna start condensing and it's gonna create a water pool at the bottom. So when I steam it, I need to have it so that it's angled in such a way that the water drains down and falls out the drip at the back and steam stays in the air. So even though I have a hole, I won't be losing my steam. I just cut some cedar with the strips and what I'm thinking of doing is a sort of pattern, an X pattern, I'll show you. So here's what I'm thinking. I'll be doing a grid like that and that I'll have to cut as a circle at the end and that will fit in the pipe and I'll have them interlock so I'll have these cut halfway on each and so they'd sit together so it'd be one piece, one plane and uh, that way the steam pieces I'm going to be using will be able to fit inside here 
and it'd be I'm thinking of making three of these deep and so they can go and sit on that and I can put multiple in there to get them steamed at the same time and uh, wouldn't be touching the walls it'd be sitting in the air so basically inside the steam So it looks pretty good, fits in there, and I'll be able to steam all my lumber without it having touching the ground and having steam on all sides. Steamer at full will last two hours, so when I'm filling up my steamer, it's going to last two hours of steam. So if I put less, if I put half, it's going to be an hour, and if I put quarter, well, it's going to be half an hour. One hour, you can do an inch. Half an inch is, takes 30 minutes, three quarters, 15 minutes. An eighth is se seven minutes and a half. So depending on what thickness material you'll put it in, doesn't matter the length, it's about the thickness uh, of the material. It, it, it's an hour per inch. So if you vary, if it goes thicker, it's gonna take longer but I'll be running on the 15 for the whole job I'm doing. All the strips I'm making are a quarter inch by seven eighths or three quarters. All right, that's it for part two of the steam pipe. So as you guys can see, it's all ready to go. Got the rack in there. So now when I get a piece of lumber, depending on the thickness, changes the amount of time it stays in the steamer. And uh, but now I can put them in there and they slide right into their slot and they should line up. They line up for the second one that's here and if I have a longer pipe, I'll go and hold on to the next one behind. So because everything's lined up, I can just push it through and kind of line it up and then get, get it in there. And I close that up and I'm able to do 12 at the same time in there depending on the piece too. So, And none of the uh, parts are glued. So if I had a piece that was slightly longer, I can remove a section and still use it because the other two would be holding on. Or if, as long as one of the cross members is in there, it's fine. So what I mean is, as long as one of this one's in, it's the only one that matters because it holds on to the, uh, the two sticks that are connected to the other two. So as long as this one's still there, I'd be able to put a longer piece at the bottom and at the top and uh, but always uh, at a thickness but I'm never going to be steaming thick boards so that's all good. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Next video is going to be me making the stems. So the part that goes on the stem mold, I'm going to be bending the part that goes on here. I'm going to make two of those. So hope to see you there. And see you next time.